I, yeah, if, if I influenced anybody, I'd be very proud. Uh, if I'm flattered that you know the younger kids listen to me, I mean that's that's great. Because it's <laughs> funny when I get when I do some of these clinics, I get to meet some of the people I listen to when I was a kid. You know, it's very <laughs> strange now. And when like you know when I'm doing clinics and like I do a clinic and I'm doing a clinic with like Simon Phillips or you know who I love mm -hmm. and I still do I love his drumming but I remember when I was a little, when I was very young I used to listen to him when he played with Jeff Beck and other people and Pete Townsend now I'm like doing a drum clinic with him and it's very <laughs> it's very bizarre you know so no I'm I'm flattered if I hope I was you know a positive influence on other uh, people's drumming I mean like I had a lot of influences when I was learning how to play drums I mean it started with Buddy Rich and Ringo and then just grew from there so it's very cool yeah <laughs>
I just want to go over real quick the gear that I'm playing, just in case anyone wants to know. Um, Okay. Purple drums, obviously. Reference 1012 rack toms. 14, 16 floor toms. 22 inch bass drum. There you go. Timbales de 10, de 10 y 12, 14 y 16 al suelo y bombo de 22 por 18. Uh, ten inch firecracker snare off to the left. La caja de diez pulgadas firecracker a la izquierda. Thirteen inch tom off to the far left. Y un tom al final a la izquierda de trece. Uh, five and a half by fourteen hammered brass snare drum. Una caja de metal de catorce por cinco y media. Evans drum heads, G ones top and bottom. Los parches son Evans, G uno arriba y abajo. Evans, is it the real one? It's like being followed around, no? It's okay. It's like you're like the translation police. Um, okay, Sabian cymbals. Combination of AAX, APX, and HH. 18, 18, 19, 18, 22 inch ride. 14 inch hi hats. 14 charles. 15 inch hi hats. 15 charles de 15. 12 inch hi hats. Y 12 pulgadas AX. 20 inch china. Y 20 pulgadas china. Okay, I think that covers all the gear. Do you play on the bass drum single strokes, double stroke, or partials? Ever? Okay. What kind of combinations do you use? Yes. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm glad I can be funny here in Spain. Thank you. No, that's a good, good, good question. Um, most of them are single strokes. All the very fast stuff, all single strokes. At one point, I do left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, 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 No, like Virgin Lunatic, he uses double stroke on the bass drum. Yes, on that version it's a double right. And that version is a double right. And that version is a double right. And that version is a double right. And that's pretty much, I do mostly everything singles because I, uh, I hit the bass drum pretty hard. Principalmente toca el golpe simple porque toca muy fuerte en el bombo. So the single strokes are easier for me to do. Para él es más fácil tocar los singles. Okay? Okay. ¿Cuáles fueron las músicas que usted ha tocado? Uh, what were the tunes that you played? What was it Megadeth? What music do you play today? Megadeth? No, that was a new band I have called F5. Which actually has David Ellison from Megadeth in it. So. Okay. No, it's, it's, it's interesting because it gives me insight on both halves. Um, I own the drum shop and, you know, I have people working for me that, you know, take care of it. And 
I, I do that more out of passion for drumming because there wasn't a good drum shop in my area. Like here, there's a great drum shop, right? Obviously, <laughs> in a great music store. So where I live in Northern California, there wasn't a very good drum shop and there's a lot of good drummers. So when I did so many clinics around the world the last five or 10 years, I said, you know what? There's nothing like that here. <laughs> well, why is there not, there's not a good drum shop in my hometown? So I just decided to open one myself with my partner, Paul, who, you know, really takes care of it. And it, it, it's, it's difficult. I can't be there all the time, obviously, because I'm either on the road or recording or something. So, but uh, it's it's fun. It's it's definitely a challenge, though, because you know, it's uh, uh, right now with the uh, American economy is not doing very well, mm. as everyone knows, <laughs> as, as, every, as, as everyone's here. aware. As here. <laughs> so, no, but I like it. It's great because you know you could go in there any day of the week and just just always drummers hanging out, you know, drinking coffee, you know, and it's like always always it's. It's it's more of a hangout. Sometimes I go in there and I'm like, just guys hanging around talking drums. 